Well, and the coach Major said you've got to calm down maybe just a little bit in the dugout, but and and then in the box when you go there when you're hitting. But how hard is it to keep that in check when you get results like tonight and obviously hitting the home run? Um, it's just that's that's hard because um like how I grew up, I always grew up playing the game hard, and that's the only mo- like mode I have. So it. I can turn it down a little bit, but majority of the time it's going to stay close to the same. How bad did you, did you want to be the first one to put that pretzel necklace on? Oh, I'm going to be honest, I totally forgot we had the pretzel necklace. Cause I'm surprised it survived the two weeks we were gone. But it was cool to put it back on again, just like last Sunday against Kansas. It was really nice. Did somebody buy it? Did somebody find it? What's the story there? Well, the necklace was made from like just our pretzels in the clubhouse, and then one of our pitchers made it probably. Uh, I don't really know the true story on it, but yeah. You take us through the at bat in which you hit your home run. What kind of transpired up there for you? Um, it was 2-0. I missed a fastball. Made a little mid-box adjustment. He threw a ball. It came 3-1. And I was thinking the only thing he could really throw me here is a fastball to be competitive, and he did. And I just hit it. What's been working for you this whole month, really? Um, just trying to make baseball simple again because I feel like people try to overcomplicate it. Baseball is just a really simple thing of seeing the ball and hearing the ball, so that's at the most I'm trying to do. You knew that was gone though as soon as you connected with it, yeah. obviously. Yeah, there's there's like my backside bombs, I'm like, I don't really know, but when I pull a ball, most majority of my pull balls are like good. Where does that rank in terms of uh, distance and home runs you've hit in your career? Uh, I would have to say that one is 1-1. One, one. That, that one was very memorable to me, and I'm very happy about it. This is two teams in a row, two series in a row that were picked high, top of the league. Y'all obviously played really well against them. Got three out of four going so far. You know, look back at that and say, hey, we're playing with these teams. They might not be at the top right now, but people expect it to be good. We know they're good. That makes us good. I just think um, we, we're just playing our baseball. We're just playing what, what we have. Like We're just playing baseball because our team's good enough to just play our game and win our games. Landon, I remember you saying a couple weeks ago that the crowd was one of the main reasons you wanted to come to West Virginia, getting to experience an atmosphere like you did tonight. What did you think? I think that was amazing. It's, it's truly a special feeling to have fans that support you like how people do here. Like I'm truly thankful to have them and the fans we have. Thank you guys.